Welcome back everybody to another thrift store Halloween haul. As you can see, I got lots of fun stuff this month. Well, this month is actually for March, March 2019. Um, so here we go. Lots of weird and wacky stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff on the floor. I'm not sure what order it's all gonna be in this month. We'll just pull it out, see what we got. So, all right. Starting with some signs. This one, it's got a little Frankenstein, haunted house, trick or treat, Ghoulsville, scary land. Now, I don't normally like to get too many of these, um, you know, generic -y looking little signs, but I didn't think this one is quite as generic as like the ones that you see in the Dollar Tree. Um, the wood is actually relatively thick, so it might be able to stand up to some weather. Um, especially if we um, put some coating on that. Um, but I like the Frankenstein. I think I got a couple of Frankenstein things um, this year, and I just think this one's kind of neat. So, my sign. Oh, how much did I pay for it? $2.99 at the Goodwill. Whoops. All right. Another sign. This one I paid $0.99 cents for. It just says trick or treat or else. And I just got it because I liked the or else. I thought that was kind of cute. It's got a little bit of this, you know, hay-like stuff on the top. Not too thrilled with that. It's a little cutesy, but I've got a few of these cutesy signs. I mean, I almost never put them out, but I like having them. <laughs> so, can always put them somewhere. This is just another one of those little, um, well, what does it say here on, the, on the, the label, it says, color your own haunted house. One wood house, one paintbrush, three acrylic paint pots. Um, so as you can see, the house has a lot of little designs on it. There's a, a little happy cat here and a tombstone and a bat and a spider web, jack-o'-lantern, another bat and spider, and some paints and a tiny little brush. So this retailed for $3 at Target and they sold it to me for a dollar. Um, but I thought it would be a fun little pass the time projects if I ever find enough time to do that. Another thing I know I'm never going to find enough time to do, <laughs> but I thought this was kind of neat, is um, Lily Vanilli in a Zombie Ate My Cupcake. It's a cupcake decorating kit, 25 deliciously weird cupcake recipes. On the back, it's got some interesting pictures. This one has ears, ugh. Um, and this one has like gold flakes. One of the little video series I wanted to do last year and I just never got around to doing it was I saw in one of the magazines, it wasn't from last year, it would have been from the year before, um, like the whole, they had a whole little spread of um, cooking Halloween treats using edible gold. And I thought that was just so ridiculously over the top um, that I had to try it, but I just haven't got around to it. It's on my endless to-do list, but maybe one of these days. All right, so inside it looks like we have some cupcake molds. There's like a tombstone and a little skull, and then some sort of like decorating tool here with some you know, pieces. I don't know what these do, but maybe we'll make some cupcakes this year and find out. But it's got a, a bunch of these other little edges so if you know anything about cupcakes, which I don't, and how to decorate them, there we go. But it has this fun little book. And let's just see here. It's, I think it said what, like 25 recipes? Actually, the book looks pretty nice. Um, so you can see lots of full color pictures. This is pretty quality. I'm impressed. So. We'll have to take a closer look at these cupcakes in a future video and try and do them. So, let's see, was there a retail price on this? This retailed for $20 in priced higher in Canada. I paid $3.93 for it. So, hopefully, we'll get some fun um, Halloween videos to make out of that. All right, let's check out bag number two. All right, this one, oh, this one has wrapped stuff. Oh, I think I remember this one. See, I buy this stuff, you know, over the course of a month, so 
Usually I will take it out of the trunk of my car and just sit it in my garage and it will sit in my garage for like the rest of the month until I eventually drag it out. And some months when I do that, I, I forgot that I bought stuff because my garage has like a little attached work area where all this stuff sort of gets thrown. And sometimes I'll just find random stuff that I bought for these Halloween videos and I'll be like, yay, bonus treat. Anyway, so this was a three set of jack-o'-lanterns. Now, they are glittery, so don't love that. And I, I've stopped buying because like, I can always find these things at the Goodwill store. But I like this was a trio. Um, and I thought it would make it easy because like if you, I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> I put some jack-o'-lanterns here and there everywhere. Um, but they're always like one-off jack-o'-lanterns. So again, love that this was a trio. Let's put that there. All right. There we go. How do we... Ha. All right, so next bag. Speaking of jack-o'-lanterns, another fun can. Oh, how much did I pay for these things? These were $1.91 each, so $6 for the whole set. Hmm. Not terrible, but I knew I probably shouldn't have bought them because I have way too much of that junk. Uh, I do not have enough of these things, which are the fake pumpkins or funkins. This was $2.92, and I, I see these relatively frequently at the Goodwill, and I always buy them when I see them. Um, I never I never carve them, but I like having jack or you know pumpkins everywhere for the season, so um, can't have enough of those. This is a jointed banner. It was only $2.00. Um, I don't know, this was a Walmart product according to the back, but it says Hall Happy Halloween. It's got little eyeballs, you know, those little peeking eyeballs around it. So even if I don't use it as a banner, I thought, eh, I can maybe use those eyeballs in some project. Um, I buy lots of these little banners and I almost never end up using them because, you know, I have a Halloween party. So um, I like, you know, for kids, I like having those things simple Halloween, happy Halloween decorations everywhere. But once I start decorating for Halloween, I get too busy to put out little things like that. So, all right, another little sign. I bought this one because it was um, only $1.91 and it's a pumpkin patch, harvest greetings, all welcome. Because before I decided to turn my study here into a um, year round Halloween decor room, um, I kind of thought I liked the idea of making it a fall theme. And I still might, I don't know. But here we go with my pumpkin patch. Then I'll have, you know, a legitimate excuse to have all of my little pumpkins everywhere because I got my pumpkin patch. All right, so three signs. I think that's more signage than I bought in like all year. All right, next bag. Oh. This one I thought was great. Another Frankenstein thing. So I thought he would go well with my sign. I might be able to make some sort of little porch decoration or something out of that. Um, but I thought he was extra cute. He's a little chipped, but, you know, we can just touch that up with some black marker. Um, I have to get, I don't know if I have a green marker or something. He's got little um, scratches on his nose, too, and little chips all around. But just a little marker, touch it all up. His head we can fill with brains um, or candy, whichever one works better, brains or candy. I love Frankenstein. You know, I tried to make my dining room into a Frankenstein theme last year, but it uh, didn't quite work. <laughs> it was hard to find anything Frankenstein. Last year, I bought some mini ones of these, but uh, you know, I, I said I don't really buy them anymore because I have a bunch of these also. Um, these little sort of, they look like little paper bag lanterns with the funny faces on them. This one's got an excellent expression. As soon as I saw him, I knew I had to have it because he is just uh, angry, which is, you know, how I feel when it comes to Halloween. Kids want my candy. Uh, they need to earn it. Okay, so more pumpkins. Little, oh, how much was this guy? 99 cents. This guy was also 99 cents. It looks like it was probably one of those Target pumpkins. 
that have all the decorations because all these little black dots are very glittery. So I thought he was just a fun little decorative pumpkin. And then he had another decorative pumpkin. This one um, is like ceramic-y. And, you know, I was trying to get a little grouping of glass pumpkins. Before I open the last bag, as I'm looking at all of these pumpkins, I realize I forgot to share with you the best part of these videos, and that was my ugly pumpkin of the month. I didn't buy it. Um, it was in the store. It is oddly bizarre. I don't know what this is. Is it? A, it's a cat with boots and a hat, and his legs are just like popping out of the face of the pumpkin, and you know, the eyeballs are kind of drawn weird around the legs. It was just so hideously wonderful that it definitely earned this month's moniker, pumpkin, ugly pumpkin of the month. So, all right, with the ugly pumpkin of the month out of the way, let's continue on to my very last bag, which also has some wrapped items in here. I remember this bag, all right. So, what have we got here? I will see if I can peel this wrapping off now. I have far too many of these candle holders that I don't have anywhere to put them. I don't buy them anymore, but I really liked this one. You can kind of hear all that clanging. That's all these fun little pieces dangling off this little haunted house. All right, come on. Let <laughs> me just rip this off. Hold on. Okay. So. And it has a little tray, which is nice. And this was, according to the tray, $4.94. But it's this little haunted house with all these little dangly bits. That's a bat. There's a little ghost, a spider web. And what is that, another? This is like a little raven. It's got little jack-o'-lanterns and tombstones all around that have like 1,700 states on them. A little black cat in the front. You probably can't see that peeking out. A little uh, bat on the top. I just think it was very nice looking for $5. So um, maybe I'll give it away. It was too it was too great to just leave in the Goodwill. I didn't want someone else to snatch it up, so I had to take it. <laughs> but maybe, maybe we'll give this away because I don't have room for it. But it's wonderful. Okay. And then lastly, I think... Again, something I just had to buy because it was wonderful. This little pumpkin teapot. Have you ever seen something so crazy, wonderful, cute, and odd? <laughs> I just thought it was great. I wish they had little cups to go with it. <laughs> oh, can you imagine having a little tea, a little tea party? Um, so... I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It, it's not necessarily Halloween, so I, I guess technically I could, you know, display it year round, <laughs> but I think it is just awesome. I paid $2.92 for this thing. So what do you think? <laughs> I love it. All right, that does it for my Halloween thrift store haul for this month. Now there was quite a bit of merchandise that I passed on this month, so make sure you stay tuned to right after the end of this video where I'm going to show you all of the wonderful treasures that I passed up. And uh, I guess that'll do it for this month, so stay tuned for my April haul, either at the end of April or beginning of May. Uh, make sure you check out all of my other fun haul videos if you like seeing this fun, crazy merchandise I find in the Goodwill stores. And then all of my other DIY videos, store walkthroughs, merchandise reviews, and so forth. So hopefully you're subscribed. If not, please do so. And I will see you next time. Until then, take care, guys, and happy haunting.